Now as far as supplies, I have a one gallon, this is what's called a one gallon strainer. This is a five gallon strainer right here for this five gallons. And you don't see one of those cheap ass trays that you put the paint in because it all those trays to do is when you're going to hit it with your foot it's going to knock the side of it like this right here with your foot and then it's, paint's going to go everywhere so you don't do that I've got some frog tape here I've never tried this before usually I use blue 3M tape but with the economy the way it is the 3M tape the they charge you the eight or nine dollars, whatever it is. But the rolls are smaller. Now, if you take this, and I use um, inch and a half, only two kinds, inch and a half, and I'll use uh, one inch. And the white is ultra sticky. I use that for anywhere on the walls. The green I'll use for this area around any kind of uh, wood like that because you don't want to pull off the varnish that's on it. And then I've got caulk for all the bad spots like right there and these are uh, nine inch rollers, half inch nap for a uh, semi rough or smooth wall. A smooth wall would be considered this wall right here. It's just paneling, very smooth. Semi smooth or most walls are like this. Uh, mo most walls don't have any of this stuff on them. They have um, that spray on finish. The reason that they have this finish instead of smooth walls is if the walls were totally smooth, and which a few places are, but when you go to put the paint on, the paint will do just like this. It will, gravity will pull it right down, and it's very hard to, to do. That's why there is texture on, on the walls. That's the only reason there's texture there. It's to hold the paint on there from absolutely running down the walls. Just like if you were to do a, a paint of glass up here, paint a, uh, if you painted glass, it would it would come down in there. Of course, there's my Stasi spike egg. What are you doing, kitty? Huh? Yeah, you just miss little Miss Innocent, aren't you? You little bitch. I know you're a spy. You're just a spy from hell. I know it. Then I use um, 15 ounce heavy drop cloths. You don't want to leave those outside because if you do, then your cats will take a big whiz on them. They love to take a whiz on these things. Yeah, I know. You, you don't know anything, do you? Kitty, kitty. See, and then, he, then she come over and she'll smell it. Whenever cats do this and they're smelling it, you know you got you got cat piss on them. Unfortunately, there's my there's a real cat. There's the Stasi spy cat. What are you doing in there? Get him! Bitch slap him! Good cat! Go get him again! Get him again! Go ahead! Kick the shit out of that cat! Come on! Let's see a cat fight! Come on! You're American. Go kick that Stasi's ass cat. It's ass. Yeah, you. Cat. Okay. Let's get back to where I was.